Hello everyone, it's Vicious. Uh, today I've got a feature video for you. I'm going to be showing you guys what Sanctum looks like when it's played on the multi-monitor setup. What we have here is an ATI Affinity setup on three 24-inch monitors running 5,940 pixels horizontally and 1,200 pixels vertically. To get this resolution to work, you have to manually edit the INI file for the game and put your resolution in manually. So I'm just going to quickly show you what the game looks like in Affinity, show you some of the problems and some of the good things. First, right away, you'll see at the main menu that you have a big problem. It's not centered, it goes off to the right, and it's kind of fragmented and messed up. Considering how the menu moves when you move the mouse, like some kind of point of view thing, I think that's the reason it causes this fragmentation. I think it's based on the field of view. So if I move all the way to the left, you'll see how some of the right side of the menu starts to show up. This is such a problem that I actually don't even know how to start a level exactly on single player because I can't see what I'm doing. Also, the game doesn't let me show you a previous level without losing my save progress, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, we'll just go into the tutorial. Now, here at the tutorial, everything's looking pretty good. The game screen is in the center, it shows you the wave 10 complete on the left, and then the welcome to Sanctum on the right. These uh, HUD elements are zoomed, they're much larger, larger than normal. This is kind of normal to the Unreal 3 engine. Now the game world itself renders out perfectly. Now, you do have to do not only change the uh, resolution for your game, but you have to change the way the field of view works. Change it from a uh, an X a horizontal field of view to a Y vertical field of view, and it works perfectly. So game world is looking good, which is probably the most important thing. You'll see that my character's arm that you would normally see very easy is now kind of hidden. It's zoomed behind where you see. This is again another common problem for the Unreal 3 engine. I remember uh, Borderlands had this problem. So I'm assuming when I get the sniper rifle that might have some issues as well. But you can still actually play the game properly. As long as you know what to do. Alright so, like I said, select the Gatling right now. I can't see the menu on the left to see a BLOC block, but I know I can use my mouse wheel and scroll down the Gatling, and now I can see G A T L I. All right, so it wants us to upgrade the tower. Now, televators. This is interesting, so you gotta hit the tab button and you go to your overview. The overview looks really good. You just have extra over here on the left and right. But there is a, uh, a problem with the televators. If you try to click on it, because of the way the game is working, you're not, you're not clicking on it. It's actually way over here on the right side of the screen somewhere. So see how I just clicked on that? Way on the right. It's like it was over here on the right side somewhere. So, General Emission from the widescreen gaming forum has put together an unauto hotkey script for you. I have it running in the background right now. All you need to do is mouse over the Televator and hit your middle mouse button. And the, uh, the script will automatically offset your, your mouse pointer to the correct position so you don't have to guess where it is. So if you are going to choose to play this game in Ifinity, that is at least one thing you don't have to worry about. So it wants us to go ahead and start the battle phase, we'll just go do that. You can see the uh, the fire coming off of the, the gun, but the gun's not there because the 3D model's out of place, but the, the sparks and fire coming off of it are not a 3D element, they're a 2D overlay, and so therefore they are in the right place and that's why that looks like that. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our weapon. It wants us to press left shift. 
not enough resources, so they want us to go and sell this tower. And I'll upgrade our weapon. So again, you have to know these menus. You can't see on the left side that I have assault. You just say ASSA, and you can't see that there's sniper below it. So you have to just know to mouse down on it. So let's upgrade this. The encyclopedia wants us to do now, so you hit escape. And you're gonna see you have that problem again. All this fragmentation, so you're not gonna be able to see your encyclopedia at all. So you can forget about that feature. Also, I don't see the next wave part of the HUD anymore. I'm not sure if that's because this is the tutorial or because you can't see that. How small that core is. I just realized that. It's a mini core. Okay, we finished this tutorial and I finished the showcase video. So this is just uh, to show you guys what it's like in Affinity. Developers, please take a look at this video. See if there's anything you can do to help aid and support for multi-monitor setups. I really do like Sanctum. I'm giving you guys full support on the game. Uh, I know that Unreal 3 Engine does support some challenges for multi-monitor setups, but it can be done. And it, as long as we get it to a playable state, that would be good. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.